You know what's mental? I used to run for obviously enjoyment when I began. Well, actually, when I began, I ran for the cardio to help with my kung fu and my martial arts. And then later on, I began running for fun, running for fun, um, about 20 kilometers. And my knees were shot the next day, destroyed knees, hip, it was, it was bad. I carry more shoes too, you know, a recognized running brand. Proper nice running shoes, spent a bit of money on them. But my knees were shot, same with my hip. Wasn't in a good way. And now fast forward now, I'm literally, you know, not running for my cardio. I'm running to increase the strength and durability in my knees and in my ankles and in my feet. And how I've made this transition is very interesting. You might think, oh, buying, you know, some, some Asics or some, some Nike running shoes, but no. Literally stripping down to the bare, you know, running on the treadmill barefoot. Walking around now, you can't see. But I just bought some, you know, five pound plimsolls for my daily shoe. Interesting, let's talk about it more. Man, gotta love that view. <laughs> I love it so much. It's actually the reason why me and my girlfriend decided to get this place because of the huge window overlooking the cathedral. All right, so it's time to talk shoes. So as well, a lot of people don't know. The thing is how you walk and how you run, how you stand affects your whole body. If you get a little, you know, a little ailment in your toe or in your foot that's going to affect your ankle health or if you get a little you know your foot's a little bit off alignment that will affect your ankle which will then in a turn affect your knee your knee to your hip your whole hips if they begin getting strained and stuff you might get some lower back pain might even travel up to your thoracic spine up to your neck your head honestly a good grounded body with good walking and running and standing form with good shoes are essential to good health, as I have found. So, let me talk to you about shoes. So, to begin with, this right here is my foot. That is my favourite, my favourite shoe, my favourite thing to walk on. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing beats the foot. It's uh, an amazing part of, you know, human engineering. Um, I mean, it literally, both feet literally contain, you know, a quarter of all the bones in your body. I think like 18 different um, muscles, 36 tendons, I believe. They're, they're incredible. So, let's begin with the funky ones, my Vibram. So, I bought these for £15 secondhand of Depop. Really great for, you know, reusing, um, you know, items. I just wash them before I use them, obviously, but yeah. These are really great. They allow your toes to spread. There's not a huge amount of arch support and it is essentially zero drop. There's there's no raise in, in the heel that, you know, it's, it's pretty great. They allow your toes to spread, they allow your feet to proper spread out and good balance. I run in these. I run outside in these. These are amazing for that and I use them in the gym quite a lot. Um, secondly, the ones I just bought, my flats, my plimsolls. So, Slazinger, very simple shoes, rubber grip on the bottom, they're a bit muddy, I've been walking in the autumn, you know, streets of Liverpool. Um, but yeah, canvas shoe, very simple. And I also bought these ones, they're a bit more, you know, a bit smarter, you know, nice colour scheme. But yeah, essentially £5 each, two for ten. Um, an amazing deal, I think, pretty great for some minimal shoes. And essentially, the only thing I'll say about these is I would like a bigger toe box for my toes to spread. Because as we naturally walk, our toes spread out and it allows us to balance more. It allows us to properly, you know, propi um, propi I forget the words when I'm on camera, but yeah. It allows our toes to probably spread out and properly, you know, um, move for proper ankle health, allowing the hips to move properly. It's really great. I'll essentially use them for everyday stuff, walking, um, parkour, um, just, you know, stuff like that. Next, I would say are these. So these are my trainers. I bought these for parkour. Now, 
they are Kappa. I've never had Kappa shoes before. I wouldn't recommend them. Um, essentially, what I look for in a good parkour shoe is a bit of cushion, yeah, a good bit of cushion because I'm jumping around. Um, I've always preferred, you know, kind of minimal shoes because I can really feel what I'm kind of balancing on what I'm jumping to. But I found that with the extra cushion, it really helped my knee heal and recover because I wasn't taking, you know, loads of impact. Obviously, now I've cleaned up my technique. That's not an issue. Um, but honestly, they fell apart. I've had these for a matter of months and that. They just fell apart, absolutely disgraceful. Um, but yeah, that's them. And lastly, I've just got some nice fake leather boots that I bought from TK Maxx. They were 45 pounds, I believe, and yeah, they're great. I mean, of course it's got a bit of a heel, but I can literally feel pebbles I walk on underneath this sole. So it's a pretty minimal sole. It looks quite thick, but the um the shoe definitely i don't know goes into the sole a bit if you get me you know I, I can really feel what i'm walking on and these are great especially when it's like you know pissing down with rain or it's, it's quite cold icy or snowy so yeah those are my shoes and um i'm gonna throw the cappers away by the way they're destroyed now but essentially i'm moving more towards a barefoot minimal style that's what i'm really kind of looking for um, you'll have to tell me your experiences with what shoes you find the best. I'd be quite interested to know. Yeah, but essentially just a little introduction into this idea of shoe wear and how the feet kind of can affect your whole body. So yeah. <laughs>